had persuaded the king to sign the new law saw this, they wanted, went to tell the king, Daniel has ignored your written decree, he still prays to his own God. <laughs> Darius was grieved to hear this. However, he was not able to take back the law. <laughs> the king ordered Daniel to be thrown into the lion's den, but said to him, May your God, whom you serve, always deliver you. Daniel was thrown in and the den's opening was closed. Darius spent a sleepless night in the palace and could not even eat. As soon as the dawn, as soon as the dawn came, he rushed into the lion's den and cried with a sad voice. Daniel, servant of the living God, has your God been able to save you from the lions? O king, live forever, Daniel replied. God sent an angel to shut the lion's mouth. Darius was delighted to hear that Daniel's voice he commanded that Daniel be lifted from the lion's den, and then that the men who had accused Daniel be thrown in the lion's den for the lions to maul. Daniel was not harmed at all because he trusted God. So that's a lesson that some of these kids maybe even have learned. I'm not sure how much if they remember that story from Daniel and the lion's den. I remember when I was a young kid in Sunday school. When was in Sunday school. It's a um, it's a trust in God that that we should always have, but it's hard to keep. Um, to teach the children how how much trust that we should have in God because we can't rely on ourselves but God. Um, maybe to um, I didn't write anything down but maybe um, some you can say what you got out of that story in Daniel 6 in your own words, and he can trans and Alphonse can translate. What does that mean to you, that story? Um, I imagine that this, um, like what I think Brian said in the prayer, and that we think about all the time is the um, freedom that we we have in our countries. To have services. Um, 
And I, I think about it a lot when I'm here. I see um, um, other religions pretty prominent, and um, um, you wonder if that freedom will stay in in our countries. And uh, in Daniel's time, they didn't have that freedom. We, they had to, they had to believe the way the king believed, or the country. And uh, I think from previous stories about Daniel, the king realized that Daniel truly worshipped the living God. And that's who we worship, worship the same God. But maybe it been a number of years and the king kind of forgot that he was not letting Daniel continue in faith or worship his own God. But God 